What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the top five reasons that I joined the army. So if you haven't seen my previous videos about my process of enlisting in the army at the age of 30, go back and check those out. I'll put a link to them right here. So today I wanna to talk about why I actually joined. I've talked about in the past the process of getting into the army, but why did I actually do it? Make sure you stick around to the very end because the number one reason that I joined the army I think is the most important and that everybody that is looking at joining the military needs to have. So before I joined the army, I was working in a hospital and I was making a pretty good living. I was pretty comfortable, had steady hours, and I loved the people that I worked with. It was a really good job. However, the one thing that I didn't really like about it was all of my coworkers were talking about they couldn't retire until they were 70, 75, just because of the way that the, the pension program, the retirement was, they weren't gonna be able to afford until well into their 70s. And that wasn't a life that I wanted. So I enlisted at 30 and I plan on putting in 20 years in the army and I'm gonna be able to get out. With the army's TSP program and the pension program that is offered, I'm gonna be able to get out and retire very comfortably in addition to a few other things that I plan on doing like house hacking, which I'll have videos of in the future. So the number four reason that I wanted to join the army is to put my skills to better use. So back when I was 17, I first joined a volunteer fire department. So I was a volunteer firefighter and I got my EMT certification and I kept moving up and doing, going to different fire departments and different ambulance services um, until I got up to the paramedic level. And yes, I got to help a lot of people. I got to see a lot of different stuff and I gained some good skills and some good knowledge. But then when I was working in the hospital, I wasn't really using those skills anymore. And I really wanted to be able to put them to use on a much broader spectrum. So in my opinion, joining the army gave me the perfect opportunity to do that. Not only do I get to help the military, which I'm very passionate about, but we're also deployed and sent to different locations to help out civilian populations in like natural disasters and things of that sort. So I'm gonna be able to use my skills to help people out that I would have never been able to reach and I couldn't have imagined before. So the number three reason that I wanted to join the army it's just that it's good for my family. Like I said, I was working in the hospital making a pretty good wage. We had a couple of nice cars, we were renting an apartment, we were pretty comfortable. However, in the army, I don't have to worry about things like paying my rent, paying a mortgage, paying an electric bill, paying a water bill. If I choose to live on post, I get housing for free. My electricity is free, my water is free. All the utilities and stuff that you usually have to pay for in the civilian world are all paid for. Now I do live off post, so I do have to incur some of those expenses, but the army gives me BAH or basic allowance for housing that helps me cover all or most of those utilities. So along with it being good for my family is healthcare. As everybody knows, healthcare in the United States is very expensive. And that's not something that I have to worry about being in the military. Myself, my wife, and all my children, we all get free healthcare through TRICARE being in the army which is a huge benefit, huge cost saver that we don't have to worry about anymore. So as you may know from my last videos, I'm currently in South Korea. Before I joined the army, South Korea was not on my list of places to go. However, I've been here for the past seven months and I absolutely love Korea. The culture is incredible. It's a beautiful country. The people are so friendly. And that's just not something I would have been able to experience before coming to the army. And this isn't gonna be the last place that I go. I'm only two and a half years into 20 years. I'm gonna have the opportunity to go across the world and get to experience things just like this everywhere that I would have never been able to, to experience. And my family's also gonna be able to have those same experiences. For starts, we're gonna be moving duty stations every few years, so my kids are gonna get to, to learn about the entire country and parts of the world a lot of times people will get into a career, they get into a job, and they kind of get comfortable and they just stay there. For us, as soon as we get a little comfortable, the Army picks us up and moves us somewhere else. Now some people may say that that's hard on kids, but I think it's a benefit because they get to have a broad spectrum of friends across the country. Now the number one reason that I think everybody should have, and it's the most important reason to me why I joined the Army, and if you're looking to join the military in any branch, this needs to be your number one reason why you would join. Free college is nice, the healthcare is nice, the housing is nice. Those are all good perks and good reasons to join the army. But the most important reason 
is just patriotism. This isn't a job for everybody. There's a very real possibility that a war could pop off in, in any country and that I will get sent there and I'm going to have to fight. So what drives me to do that? It's the love for my country. It's the patriotism. It's the love for my flag. And I've had this conversation with some people from outside the United States that weren't born there and they just don't really understand how you could love your flag as much as I do. I feel so blessed to have been born in the United States. If you look back through our history, you'll see a long line of patriots that have sacrificed so much for the freedoms that I hold so dear. And I feel like it's my duty to do the same thing and make sure that my children and their children and their children will have those same freedoms that I've enjoyed for generations to come. So guys, those are the top five reasons that I joined the army. If you're in the military or if you're considering joining, drop in the comments down below why you wanted to join. So if you're not already, subscribe to my channel and share this video with somebody that you think would get value out of it. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Thanks for watching the video and we'll talk to you later.